Okay, welcome back. So if you watched my last video, I kind of introduced the power box that I'll be working on for my lighting. And I had some time today to get it prepped, but not wired. So here we have all of the switches are mounted. We have a switch for our LED lights that'll be here on the power box, kind of like a flashlight for when we're carrying it back and forth. The master switch for our USB and voltmeter and everything. Also our master on off for the whole system. And then here we have banana plug terminals or um, screw style terminals as well with individual switches that'll control our interior and exterior lighting while we're in the camper. And then the switch here on the back is the on off for the Bluetooth system and the speakers. So right now the inside of the box is just you know, everything's clean, orderly, oriented the same way, so all our negatives are away. And then I have the speakers mounted, and you see the speaker wire there. I'm just waiting for my batteries. I had uh, got lead acid batteries, just because for now, you know, we're going to try this out. Cheaper expense is to go with the lead acid, so I'm doing two 12 volt, nine amp hour that I'm going to wire in parallel. So that way I have 18 amp hours of 12 volt uh, value. Also what I did is I prepped some of the wiring system for the lights that'll be mounted in the camper. And what I did there, I was just checking to see how they would fit. So we have banana plugs here and I terminated the ends of my wires with 90 degree banana plugs and this way they can pop right down there into the top of the power box and it's a nice clean connection it's not poking up as well i still have plenty of room um you know below the bed but that way that's mounted here on the floor now this is a nice pre-made wire that has the bullet style plugs they're the 2.1 millimeter by five millimeter plugs. And this is pretty universal for the, a lot of the little LED lighting strips and security cameras, things like that. So I just have a on off switch for that. And that will extend from the bottom up the side here to where I'm gonna mount my interior lights. Now, why two switches? Well, once I have the bed made, the power box is below the bed. So, I may have to, well, I have two options. One, the master switch has to be on to power through the system, but then this way at night, I can just click this off and turn off our interior lighting. Everything else can be turned off individually at the main switch. You know, with that, you know, we might be charging our phones overnight or whatever as well, just by the USB ports. So that works out pretty well. And it gives us some control. So what happened to my dimmer idea? Well, the dimmer lights that I had originally, they were not cl uh, clear coated with like a silicone strip. So they, I didn't want to risk like rubbing those LEDs when I'm packing things away. I wanted something protected. So I ordered a waterproof LED strip, but unfortunately that's not dimmable. So we're going to control our light output by having everything dark here in the garage one night and we're only going to have a small strip of LEDs just to give us a general light in the camper. It doesn't have to be like sunlight, you know, when we turn it on. I will get in trouble for that. So this is our wire, all nice and clean, made up, easy um, to wrap up and put back in the camper once we get farther along. And then the other one I have wired up as well. So here is our... Here's our banana posts to a Y harness, a pre-made Y harness again with the plugs. So here, this is one that will go to an LED strip that's in the camper and permanently mounted to the side. So that way I can connect that just by plugging it together and I'm ready to run. I do have a switch here as an option but I can just take that out as well for the patio awning lights. I was just test fitting everything. But once I cut the big strip of LED light, if 
I'm only using four foot out of 16 foot, these little white connectors here allow you to carefully exacto off the silicone cover on the waterproof strip. And this is a clamp style term termination strip that goes onto the contacts of the LEDs. And then you can reuse and continue to, to build off of that. So that's how we're gonna make those connections work. And so far, I'm pretty happy with the result of how things are starting to come together. We're gonna to do the wiring for the power box in part two, uh, which I'll fade out and come back to. And then we'll have everything tested. Thanks.